such um, a tragedy, losing Ibrahim Touré to cancer. He was only 28, so I hope that w by the end of 20, um, this was some good news to have Yaya Touré at the best African player and here his uh, uh, a record. Uh, this is another record because uh, there are others who uh, achieved this to uh, be for uh, four times best African players, but these are consecutive times. Uh, so congratulations. Returning back to uh, the coaches, Luis Enrique of Barcelona, I will leave. Um, do not back me. I mean, these are a little bit strange uh, statements. Who should back who? But okay. Uh, and by the way, I think that this is going to prove how uh, powerful Messi is. And this has nothing to do with football. This has something to do with administration. To the world of by game to tennis, Sharapova wins Brisbane title. Federer set for a milestone for all those who are the uh, fans of the wide game. Sharapova uh, achieved her very first title in 2015. And finally, Muhammad Ali released from hospital. Muhammad Ali flies the legend uh, of boxing, 72, admitted more than two weeks and was uh, then thought to be pneumonia. But uh, thank God he is um, out of hospital. We wish him a speedy recovery to the, uh, the uh, boxing legend we have Muhammad Ali Klai. After the short break we are going to come back with more and we are going to focus uh, on Ahmed Gabr and his story of success and for me breaking the impossible so on Nile TV International. this stuff all these things I was just wondering and he said this is nothing this is nothing actually this is uh, this is little, little amount of tanks you know so that's not everything actually, how many tanks know, so have you used in your trip well uh, I used 93 tanks you know yeah so okay. uh, <laughs> how many people uh, well every everyone I think they were 20 20 divers you know okay. including the the in water support and mm -hmm. the outside support the surface support yeah. yeah. Um, your safety. I think it was a first priority. Yeah. So, how were the calculations? I mean, uh, you you said that you have used about ninety something tanks. And each tank is suitable for um, certain uh, depth. For certain depth. Yeah. How were those calculations made? I mean, it was by you, your old team, uh, doctors, um, uh, underwater uh, uh, doctors. I mean, those who were whose specialty is uh, just to uh, study the human being condition uh, under those depths, depths or what? Well, everything it was like, uh, it was never a made decision, you know, yeah. it's like a team decision, every step we're taking together, you know, so the first thing, the first, the initial step, it was like uh, we asked from uh, a very famous commercial diving company, you know, like to have by doctors, Okay. Uh, to make like, a custom made table for mm -hmm. this specific depth as it doesn't exist you know in any manual or any mm -hmm. like uh, any known table or any software of course I mean like uh, that made specially just for me mm -hmm. so we took the table uh, we put it in many softwares and then according to the many softwares and then I was trying on myself and then uh, accordingly we finalized the whole plan uh, that was one part or one phase. The other phase, it was the uh, gas selection. You mm -hmm. know, this is another thing, you know. So we selected the gases, mm -hmm. you know, and then uh, to uh, minimize my time under water. So my actual time, it was 21 hours, you know, and then we, uh, by the gas selection, it was... Uh, Nearly 14 hours. 
Almost 14 hours, yes. Yeah. 13 hours, 50 minutes, exactly, yeah. But many things uh, were made for the very first time. I mean, to have, uh, to experience something or to try something before going uh, to, uh, to your trip underwater. Okay. So how was it? I mean, um, how have you m made it sure that these mix mixes of gas are that suitable for for these depths, I mean, you're talking about more than 300 meters. Well, it's all studied, it's all studied, everything is studied, you know, at certain that there are like fixed rules and everything, and then uh, the rest for gas selection, it was like a personal experience, I mean, like the whole, the whole project, it was like the whole four years, the actual diving four mm -hmm. years, it was like learning process for everyone. So I was testing gases, I mean, like, maybe I'm comfortable with certain gas, maybe you're not comfortable with it, you know, so it's like personal difference, and then you have to decide on that yourself. And about the location? Uh, location as well, it has to be studied, you uh -huh. know, so uh, we picked actually a certain day of the year for uh, water temperature, current, current calculations, you know, so uh, the area itself, it has to be policed as well, you know, like uh, away from uh, other divers. If you want to say something about uh, the videos? Well, that's not me, so. Okay. <laughs> Like this is other deep oh. yeah, yeah. That's and because of this, you were saying it's nothing. Whenever we were talking about how many tanks you were carrying. Well, I was carrying nine tanks uh, during my dive, uh, mm -hmm. custom made. We got them <coughs> from Czech Republic, and uh, the total the total dive it was 93 tanks uh, was given to me by my support divers. My first support diver, mm -hmm. I met him at uh, 110 meters. You know, mm -hmm. after 50 minutes from me leaving the surface. The very first supporting diver, when have you met him? After? I met him after 50 minutes okay. at uh, 110 meters. Yeah. The numbers you're talking about that easy? For me, they are terrifying. But okay, great. Uh, here, uh, of course, I'm not going to speak about fitness. Yeah. Mental fitness. Yeah. How was it in, uh, during both 13, uh, in, uh, almost 14 hours? going up how you kept yourself focus um, focus concentrating knowing well what you do uh, uh, feeling good uh, um, keeping in mind that there I mean, no mistakes are permitted here i mean how what those 14 hours in your life and how you are now recalling the story remembering those every single details about those hours underwater uh, well, the thing here is like uh, physical preparation and mental preparation. These are both like two phases during my whole project, you know, so physical preparation. I mean, like it's my... I'm sorry for the interruption, Ahmed. Are you practicing yoga or something like of that? Of course. This is one yoga. Okay, and great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, this is very important. Continue. Actually, it's one of... Uh, one of one of, one of my main concerns, I mean, like how to keep like myself, my breathing pattern the same, you know, any kind, monitoring any kind of breathing change, you know, a certain that that means something is going wrong, so I have to reestablish again my normal breathing, yeah, uh, which is very important, you know. So and then you have to take the right decision on the right moment. You know? uh -huh. So once you reach this moment, that that means you are ready, mm -hmm. you are actually ready, not you are thinking you are ready. And then at the same time, you have to be completely neutral inside, I mean, like, you have to be completely uh, stable uh, to be able, I mean, like, some dives you can say, no, I'm not ready to do it right now, I mean, like, or no, it's not me who can do this kind of dive, you know. I think with uh, good mental preparation, mm -hmm. good physical preparation, anyone can go to 300 meters. Also. No, not anyone, but well. what was your program, your schedule? I mean, uh, whenever you are talking about nearly 14 hours, I'm going to, uh, this is exactly what I'm going to think about in the first uh, two hours. This is what I'm going to have. I'm going to be a little bit uh, feeling relaxed when I reach the uh, half of the journey, for instance. Well, this is, I'm trying, I was trying to get myself robotic, you know, so I did not, I did not classify, I mean, like certain, certain time for everything. I mean, like uh, my most difficult time, it was like the first, uh, the first 14 minutes till I reached my target depth. Okay. And then I got I got my tag because uh, and this is another story actually you know like uh, the measurement the depth measurement. This was uh, another question to be accurate. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I mean not jump to it. So uh, so this is my very first difficult time. I mean like till I met my support diver after 50 minutes and then he kept me company with all my support divers. You know mm -hmm. like till 
all my journey till I reached the surface. You want to speak a little bit about measuring the depth? Go ahead. Sure. I mean, like uh, that was also, I mean, like one of our concerns. I mean, like mm -hmm. when we're studying the dive, I mean, like no computers will uh, will measure mm -hmm. these depths. You know, mm -hmm. so we actually had uh, we t we we got a rope. You know, so and then we sent this rope. Uh, sorry. Lagged. Yeah, yeah, a mm. rope, you know, like with the, with certain weight on it, you mm. know. So and then we sent everything to Cairo University, and, uh, mm. the engineer. I mean, like to the measurement and uh, calibration unit in there, you know. Mm. So uh, it's measured, and then it, uh, we had a report from the university, official yeah. report. It was very scientific. I myself, you Should know, I, d I didn't know anything about it. So they give us like uh, engineer. Uh, Doctor Engineer Ayman Wanas, you know, so he came with the rope to re-measure the rope in front of uh, Guinness World Record Adjudicator, mm -hmm. and then we had tags, you know, like because mm -hmm. we expected all computers to break, you know, like, and that happened exactly at 289 meters, so we had these tags that, like, adjudicated tags by two witnesses plus the Guinness World Record Adjudicator as well, mm -hmm. and then he himself, the adjudicator, he put it, mm -hmm. he mounted all the tags before we put the rope uh, in the water. Uh -huh. uh, so we made sure like we had tags from 320 meters, 325, uh, 330, with every five meters mm -hmm. uh, till 350. And that was my target depth actually, you know, like I did not get, you know, so. Uh After passing the stage, uh, what about the rest of the journey? Well, the rest of the journey, I mean, like, I'm just, like, uh, I want to go back up, you know, like, monitoring again, you know, like, uh, every tiny change, you know, like, in my body, you know, like, uh, do I feel pain, do I feel... Uh,